Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 guide. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Vortex Decays Realm event. Vortex is back, but for a limited time in Modern Warfare 3. In case you guys don't remember what Vortex is, essentially, Vortex is a reimagining of a handful of maps in multiplayer. These maps get a complete visual overhaul, as if these maps were in zombies. Previously, we only had three Vortex maps. We had Spore Yard, a reimagining of Scrap Yard, Tetanus, a reimagined version of Rust, and Satan's Quarry, a reimagined version of Quarry. Well now, with this new event, two new maps are added to the Vortex rotation. There's Airborne, which is a reimagining of Terminal, and Skid Grow, which is a reimagining of Skid Row. However, unlike the previous Vortex event we had a couple months ago, this event has challenges for you to complete. Each challenge will grant you a new reward, and when you complete every single challenge, you get a new camo. The only unfortunate thing about Vortex, like I mentioned, is that these maps and this event is only going to be around for a limited time. The event starts started yesterday, and the final day for Vortex Decay's Realm is going to be on April 2nd. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the new challenges for Vortex Decay's Realm. You can choose to complete this event in multiplayer, zombies, or warzone, but I would personally recommend playing multiplayer. The multiplayer challenges are more straightforward, and it won't take you very long to do. So with that said, the first challenge in multiplayer is to get 30 kills with the crossbow or the jack purifier. And the jack purifier, for those of you who are unaware, is the underbarrel flamethrower. I use the the jack purifier for this challenge, mainly because I think the flamethrower is really good and it's a ton of fun to use. You do have to be somewhat close to the enemy in order for the flames of the flamethrower to reach them, but honestly, the range isn't too bad. When you complete this challenge, you earn the apocalyptic calling card. The second challenge requires you to get 15 kills shortly after sprinting with a throwing knife using the demolition vest. So when you're building your loadout, you have to select the demolition vest. This particular vest gives you two lethals in your lethal equipment spot instead of just one. And so so make sure you equip the throwing knife on your class. You do have to be somewhat close to the enemy in order for the throwing knife to reach them, but good thing throwing knives are a one-hit kill. This challenge really isn't as hard as it sounds. You should probably be able to complete this challenge in one game. And so when you complete this challenge, you earn the valve replacement emblem. The next challenge is to get 10 kills with the mosquito or the remote turret kill streaks. I would recommend using the mosquito for this challenge, mainly because you don't have to kill as many enemies to earn the mosquito than you do for the remote turret. The Mosquito Drone only requires 4 kills, and the Remote Turret requires 7. However, there is a way for the Mosquito Drone to only require 3 kills instead of 4. I would recommend using the Mission Control Comm Link in your loadout. What this does is decrease the amount of kills you need for kill streaks by 1, meaning you only need to kill 3 enemies in one life to get the Mosquito Drone instead of 4. This will help you complete the challenge a little bit quicker. When you deploy the Mosquito Drone, it will patrol the vicinity of where you used it, waiting for an enemy to walk by. And once it finds a target, Target, it locks on and dive bombs blowing up the enemy. And sometimes when there are a bunch of enemies together, you might end up getting a double kill or a triple kill. And so when you complete this challenge, you earn the Swarm Weapon Charm. The fourth challenge is for you to get 40 hip fire kills with the Jack Backsaw Aftermarket part for the Holger 556. Once again, another straightforward challenge, but I found this one to be the most tedious. Mainly because when you equip this aftermarket part on the Holger 556, you do not have good hip fire accuracy. I would recommend playing a very small map to complete this challenge, so a map like Shipment or Stash House. Mainly because these maps focus on close quarters combat, and for hipfire kills, you gotta be pretty close to your enemy. You might be able to complete this challenge in a couple of games, but that depends on how skilled you are using this thing while hip firing. Trust me when I say, this aftermarket part was not made for hipfire kills. But eventually, once you do complete this challenge, you earn the Grave Worm sticker. And the fifth and final challenge for Vortex Decay's Realm is to get 40 kills with the Haymaker while you using the gunner vest. So once again, go into your custom loadout and equip the gunner vest. This vest allows you to deploy with the maximum amount of ammo and it improves your reload speed. In addition, you get the overkill effect, so you can equip another primary in your secondary slot. The Haymaker is one of the best shotguns in the game, especially when you use the Jack Maglift aftermarket part. And so I would recommend using that aftermarket part, not just because you get a ton of ammo, but you also get a binary trigger on your Haymaker. This will greatly increase the rate of fire on your your shotgun, and you'll be able to rapidly kill enemies. This challenge won't take you very long to do at all, because like I said, the Haymaker is one of the best shotguns in Modern Warfare 3. When you complete this challenge, you earn a double weapon XP token. And now, with all five challenges completed for Vortex Decay's Realm, you unlock the Wriggler Animated Camo. If you get squeamish at the sight of worms and bugs, this camo probably isn't for you, but this animated camo is a bunch of worms wriggling around on your gun, fitting the whole zombies, decay theme, 
theme of the Vortex maps and of this event. But anyways guys, that was the Vortex Decays Realm event here in Modern Warfare 3. If you found this guide to be comprehensive, straight to the point, and useful, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world, and I'll see you guys next time.